Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth video of QA, Automation QA. Uh, so today we have three another interesting questions. Uh, one is the majorly asked questions like what is the difference between close and quit? And then we have two test entry questions. So one is this like um, when we will get the failure and the skip in test entry. So it's more of like uh, failure versus skip. So we are going to learn that. And then we have two guess the output like what will be the output of the program so let's see uh, the third one first um so here i have created a package called day five and within that i have this guess uh, class right so i give you one minute time just uh, i mean 20 seconds time just think and let me know in the comments what will be the output of this program Yeah, start guessing and just uh, do let me know in the comments before I give you the answers. Okay, at least note it down in your notepad or somewhere and just let me know in the comments, okay? Now let's go with the answer. So first thing we can see that uh, we have at test. Of course, that means we are going to run this with the help of test ng. So if at test is going to run, before that, of course, the before sweep annotation will run, right? So this will be like my first and then I mean this will be my first and then this will be my second that is clear but other than that also we have static block and the constructor and we know that whenever we uh, load a class of course the constructor is going to run right but in java before that static block will get executed so what will be the output first the static block and then followed by the constructor and then followed by the before sweet tag and then followed by the test tag right now let's go and run this let's confirm and here you can see that we got the static and then followed by the constructor and then followed by the sweet tag and i mean annotation and then followed by the at test annotation right so this is the output so if you guessed it correct obviously you can crack the interview or else you have to practice a lot for that keep on subscribing and watch the videos okay I know bad marketing but i have to do okay let's move to the next one so here we have the like when we will get the failure and the skip in test ng um so here i have created a class called skip process failure and i'm going to write quickly two functions so one is the eat always we i do i mean everyone does yeah i know so and then we'll just have a sysout statement here so sysout uh, like uh, eating and then followed by i'm going to create another function and that will be your sleep so eat and sleep what else we need and here it's going to be um, sleeping okay yeah that's fine now i'm going to annotate this both this with the help of a test so we can run it from the at test i mean test ng so let me copy and paste over here as well okay so let's run this first and confirm it's going to give us some output so let's run as test ng test and of course we got the output and it says eating and the sleeping right so we got in the ascii order that is the default order of test ng and we got the exactly same now the question is uh, how to reproduce or how to produce the failure and the skip so let's see how to produce the failure so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this throw new um, runtime exception basically uh, to stop the program or stop the execution right that's it so let's go and run so now you can see that we got one failure so here you can see one failure total rest, uh, total test run is two and one failure with zero skips and the failure method is basically the we can check that in the console so here you can see it got failed right now let's see how to produce the skip okay so here i'm going to use the dependence uh, dependency okay so i'm going to say depends on method and i'm going to give the method that is it okay now let's go and run this again okay so now here you can see we we have reproduced the skip as well okay so what does it mean means i mean what does it means is actually this at test is got failure right so the if it's failure means of course based on this particular result this sleep is going to execute so if i eat successfully then only i'm going to do the sleep right so here i have the depends on method since this method got failure this method got skip so that is the difference between failure and skip in test ng okay i hope this makes sense to you and it's clear now okay 
Now let's go to the third one, which is again like classic program. So here we have the um, close process quit. I mean classic program in the sense definitely you will get this. Um, yeah. So let me do one thing. Let me write the Chrome driver constructor here. So we are going to launch the Chrome driver. And then I'm going to load the URL. So driver.get and probably we'll go with our URL that is uh, let code dot in. Okay. And just to make sure it loaded successfully, I'm just going to print the title here. So driver dot uh, get title. That's it pretty much. And then I'm going to give the driver dot quit. Okay, well, let's go with the close first. Okay, so I'm going to give the driver dot close here, right? Now let's go and run this. So it's going to launch the browser and it's going to print the title and it's going to close. That's it, very simple. And here we got exception because, 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 because session not created. Um, so here the problem is the version of Chrome driver only supports 87. Okay, so the I have to update the driver, nothing much here. So what we can do is, we can go and check the browser version. I know I should have checked it earlier, but that's okay. Anyway, you can learn something here as well. Okay. So Chrome driver download and then go to this one. And uh, we'll download the 18 version. Here we have the 32 zip. And I will extract in my drivers folder. So basically, here only I keep all my uh, drivers file. Okay. Uh, so here you can see already I have the Chrome driver. So I'm going to delete that and it's not able to delete because the browser didn't, isn't closed. So I'll just use the command prompt to kill the driver. Okay, so slash f slash im and then I can say like chrome driver.exe. Okay, now I can go and delete this one and I can extract it here. Yeah, that's it. So we got the driver now, which is 89 version. Now let's go and run this. Okay, so I'm going to run this Java application again. So now the browser got launched and uh, let code dot in it's loaded successfully and then it print the title and close the browser, right? Now let's go and try with the quit as well. So let's go and run this. And definitely it will also do the same. So what is the difference basically, right? So let me go to my command prop. Okay, I'm going to use the CMD and I'm going to say like task kill slash f slash im. So slash f in the sense uh, it's a forcefully and im in the sense it's an image. Okay, so and I'm going to say chrome driver dot exe. Okay, now as soon as I give this, you can see um, you can see like we have this process ID has been terminated, right? Um, it should not happen because we have used the quit. I think already we have something. Let me try to run this again. So the basic difference is close means it will close the active window or the active browser. But quit in the sense it will terminate the active window or the browser. Okay. So if I go back to the command prompt and if I use the same task skill slash f slash img i mean i am and then if i say chrome driver dot exe now you can see that it says like the process chrome driver uh, dot exe not found okay because we have used the quit so quit will kill the instance that means uh, you can just go to your task manager and here also you can see we do not have anything like uh, chrome driver the service is not running basically it will kill the instance of the browser okay but Instead of quit, if I use close and then if I try to run this again, let's see what happens. Okay, so browser got closed, but if you go to the task manager, probably here you can see like uh, uh, we have the uh, Chrome driver basically somewhere you can see like. Uh, Let me reopen this task manager again. I think I will get it. Yeah, so here you can see the Chrome driver.exe file is there. Okay, it's running on the memory. Okay, now let me go to my command prompt and if I run the same command again, now you can see that the process ID has been terminated, right? So close in the sense it will not kill the browser, it will just close it. Okay, it's like um, kind of like just closing not killing the entire process 
but quit in the sense it will terminate or it will kill the entire process in the background also okay so which is advisable to use of course the driver dot quit is advisable but if you are running uh, if you are running the script for multiple tabs for example we are handling the window handle concept where we have multiple tabs right so if i have multiple tabs and i want to close only the active tab then i have to use driver dot close because at that point if i use driver dot quit then it will kill both the tabs right so that is the difference between close and quit i know it's a lengthy one because of the drivers and the uh, to reproduce it but yeah i think you got it if not do let me know in the comments i will try to explain more in detail okay so that's it for this video i have uh, completed the three questions we will see in the next one very soon okay and as usual thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon any trouble yeah we coming through as one you know i got your back in every way under the sun girl i'll be staring looking at you every single night i just gotta let you know you're cutting up my life